Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, it is uh, Saturday afternoon. Uh, today, what's today? November uh, 18th, I believe. And uh, today wasn't supposed to be a very good weather day, uh, but things have kind of cleared up. I'm going to kind of spin around here so you can kind of see the, uh, the clouds and so forth. When I first uh, went out, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon, so the sun's getting pretty low in the sky. Uh, sunset, I believe, is like 5.15, so, you know, in, in an hour and 45 minutes, the sun's going to be down, so uh, it's time to get a drone up in the air. But th my point was, the weather wasn't very good. Uh, it was cloudy. We even had a little bit of rain, uh, and then it cleared up. Now, we've got a big storm uh, rolling in this evening. We're supposed to get really uh, strong winds and heavy rain, so uh, I figured take the opportunity to fly while you can, right? So I have the, uh, the Mavic 3 Pro, and I had a battery charge for it, so uh, I'm out at a place called, I've actually flown here before, and I'll see if I can show you. This is called the uh, Five Mile uh, Trailhead, is what it's called. And it's down from Retta Husky Park. I'm pointed towards Retta Husky Park off in the distance there. But at any rate, uh, it's just an excuse to fly. So we're going to get this drone up in the air. And I got a couple things that I think I can show you. So uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Okie dokie. So I've got a uh, screen recording started. And uh, uh, looks like we got enough satellites. We're ready to go here. Uh, let's take a quick look at the safety menu. We are in bypass mode. Uh, bypass is in normal. Radar map is on. 30 meter return to home altitude is plenty for where we're at. Uh, max altitude, we got that at uh, close to max legal, 120 meters. Uh, and it's not asking for any calibrations. Battery, uh, only uh, eight cycle counts on this battery, uh, but it's looking good. Uh, Okay, let's see. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I need to show you here. Yeah, let's uh, let's click that. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're in explorer mode. You know what? I'm going to leave it on 30 frames per second because uh, we'll leave it in explorer mode in case we want to zoom in and use those other cameras on something. Uh, so that's just worth mentioning. Y you can't be in 60 frames per second and use explorer mode with the camera. In other words, you can still use the tele lenses, but you have to start, stop recording, switch to that lens, and then restart recording. Explorer mode lets you just smoothly move uh, between the lenses. So, uh, enough, uh, enough of that. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's start recording now. And I see no reason why we can't take off. Uh, we're going to take off. And I'm going to go straight up seven meters, which is what DJI asks you to do to get a precision landing. And you saw there, I went just a little bit higher. Uh, we went, uh, I, I just uh, took off off of a crack in the sidewalk here. So we'll see if it can find that same spot when it comes back. Uh, hopefully it can. Didn't use any kind of landing pad or anything. Uh, okay, uh, we need to do our droney, don't we? So let's uh, let's let's move this guy around and uh, and get it back down in front of the camera, and uh, and we'll do our droney. So bringing it in here, and we got obstacle avoidance on. I'm going to pick the camera up just a little bit. Pick that action cat two camera up, so uh, so we could bring it in and. Obviously, with ob obstacle avoidance on, we're only going to get so close, but let's get it down here a little ways. Yeah, and it wants to just move right up when we do that. So I'm just going to bring it down, and uh, let me get pointed back here, and let's do our droney reverse and up now. I pretty hit pretty hard on the up stick because we had a fence back there, uh, although obstacle avoidance uh, uh, probably would have taken care of that, but... Uh, just like that, just like that tree right there, right over the top of it. Let's grab a little more altitude so you guys get the bigger picture here. So you can see where I'm at. That uh, road right there is called Ten Mile Road, 
And uh, people that have watched, boy, the sun's coming out really bright right now. We're looking kind of right into the sun. In fact, I'm going to turn the drone and face it into the sun here uh, and kind of pick it up a little bit. It's, uh, it's, really, uh, it's really bright. Uh, but in any case, uh, dropping that camera back down. Uh, what you see right here, this is, I guess, was what was called Five Mile Creek. And uh, these are a couple of swales that are used for uh, overflow, rain overflow. And we're supposed to get a lot of rain tonight. I'm hearing a helicopter, so I'm kind of uh, looking. Of course, we're way lower than he would be, but I just want to make sure I get eyes on him before we get too carried away here. He's way to the south of us, the south and the east. Uh, but at any rate, uh, I, like I always say, your eyes are your best uh, uh, avoidance for, or excuse me, your ears are your best avoidance for manned aircraft because often you hear them long before you see them. And I've got the drone right in front of me here, but I'm spinning it around here. There's that chopper. He's coming pretty close to me here. Let me see if I can get a look at him here. Let's move around, pick up the camera. See if we see him fly by here. Oh, there he is at the very top of the screen. So there you can see him right there. Let's see if we can kind of follow him across the sky. So anyway, that's, uh, that's why it's important to keep your, uh, keep your eyes and ears open uh, for manned aircraft. Uh, anyway, although, I, you know what? I noticed that didn't show up on ADS-B, so... Who knows, he may not have been squawking uh, ADSB. Uh, back to what we're doing here. Let's, I'm gonna take you down and give you a quick look at Retta Husky Park before we uh, take off. I got some other things the other direction I wanna show you, but, uh, but let's look at this. Uh, anyway, this is Five Mile Creek. And this is called Retta Husky Park right here. And you guys, I, I've flown from there right from the park before. Uh, <laughs> And the other thing that always astounds me is, uh, is uh, boy, just what a powerful, easy-to-fly drone this is. I mean, I'm, I'm able to move it uh, wherever I need it to go, but it uh, doesn't look like there's anybody there at all. There's the pickleball courts, and uh, I don't see anybody on the play structures or anything, but uh, this, is a, this is a really uh, well-done little park, and often... It's not often you see those uh, pickleball courts empty. They get a lot of use. But I think, kind of like me, probably a lot of people thought that uh, the weather probably wouldn't be quite so good today. So, uh, so they're probably not out and about. But as soon as I saw the sun come out, I said, man, i got to go fly because I know I'm not going to be able to fly for a couple of days because we've got some weather moving in. Let's move sideways here. And we'll get back over uh, Five Mile Creek, and uh, and and you guys have uh, I've, I've shown this in other videos before, but uh, but it's still worth taking a look at. Watch out for uh, branches here. Uh, even with the excellent obstacle avoidance on a drone like this, a little branch could take you out. And when you're uh, over water like you are over the creek here, uh, yeah, it wouldn't be good. So uh, this, uh, gosh, I can't remember the name of this street right here, but it's basically just goes into a subdivision and you can see the walking path here. And this park is part of a, it's a private park, part of the subdivision there. Uh, so looks like they're keeping it nice and green. The last time I looked at it, it uh, they, weren't, they weren't keeping up the grass very well. Uh, but it looks like they're uh, they're doing a better job. That street that you see right there, people that are familiar with the area, that's called U Stick. And yeah, so on down uh, on down the creek here, and boy, there's not even anybody on the uh, on the walking path there, which is kind of odd. Uh, and I, this this walking path kind of ends at the next street there, which uh, uh, that is uh, that is Linder, I believe. Yeah, that should be Linder, right there, for people that are familiar with the area. 
So let's grab a little altitude here and spin this baby around. Got an open field right here. As you can see, nothing but subdivisions. And I mean, this place just, it just amazes me how fast things get built up. So we'll, uh, we'll bring it on back. In fact, we'll, uh, we'll throw it into sport mode here and we'll make some time here on the way back. We'll see how quick we can get this guy back to us. Uh, and we're gonna stay right over the creek here. And one thing to remember about when you're in uh, sport mode, you got no OA. So that's when those trees really will reach out and uh, get you because uh, there is no obstacle avoidance going on. We'll just head back down Five Mile Creek. And we're, uh, we're moving along at uh, a little over 20 meters per second. So that's oh, around 45 miles an hour or so. Top speed on this drone is... 47 miles an hour. We'll just aim for the gap right there. This is just such a precise, easy to fly drone. This is a lot of fun. And just that quick, we're, uh, we're just about back to us. Uh, so we're gonna cross uh, 10 mile here and I got some other stuff I wanna go look at. Okay, let's ease off the stick here. I'm going to put it back in normal mode. And uh, we are just going to go straight across 10 mile here. Cross perpendicular, past, past the little coffee shop there. This is the uh, meridian, well, not all this, but over this direction where you see those tanks, that's meridian wastewater. These are businesses here. I'm not sure what businesses they, they are, but... Uh, there is a, you know, I knew there's some some uh, empty fields out here, so I figured it'd be worth it to go take a look. And you can see uh, we're kind of faced towards the sun, but uh, you can definitely see the amount of development that's going on. And I am quite sure that these fields right here uh, are going to be huge housing developments before too long. Let's just kind of do a quick look around here and you can see there's 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 open area but you can see how also it's getting encroached in on all sides by housing developments and you can't blame these farmers they're probably second maybe even third generation and they're probably getting offered a lot of money for their property so so that's what that's all about this is the uh, the wastewater treatment plant and we're not going to go over the top of that but we can, we can uh, kind of get you a look at it here. I, in fact, I've never looked at this. Uh, that's probably an opportunity to use uh, explorer mode here. Let's see how close, see if we can get to that. Yeah, we even, uh, we'll get to that three by zoom camera. We're cropping in there. Yeah, there we're on the three by zoom camera. Uh, and uh, boy, that looks, you, it's just amazing. You can tell when you go from the crop to to the uh, to the next camera, you can sure get in close, can't you? So anyway, wastewater treatment, and I know some of the water that goes in there is uh, is runoff, I believe, but uh, mostly it's just sewer. Looks like a pretty modern facility, so. That's a good thing. Okay, back, there's Five Mile Creek again. Let's go back to that wide angle camera. Back out to uh, wide angle and uh, let's see, we're at 58% battery, so we got some battery to go. There's some stuff across the street here that I want to show you. So we're going to get across the street Uh, and we're going to go right by a school. Again, this is Saturday. There's no school in session. But this, I believe, is Ponderosa Elementary School. And on the other side of that is uh, Lakeview Golf Course. 
and I've never I've never flown over that so let's just take this is a good excuse we got a nice day it's a good excuse to just take a quick peek uh, and you know again typical uh, housing developments built around the around the golf course looks like there's some people out there playing we're gonna stay well out of their way get some altitude here we're not gonna bother anybody we want to be up in the air so Although I can tell you it would be a lot more fun to fly over one of these courses closer to the ground. Looks like the end of a cart path there. We'll just kind of see where this goes a little bit. I'm not even exactly sure where the clubhouse or any of that is at. Uh, well, yeah, looks like we got, uh, yeah, that might be it right there well I'm not sure I can't tell looking at the FPV screen but they got a big I guess you'd call that a water hazard huh right in the middle there dropping the camera down so we can get a look yeah I'd say that's the clubhouse right there in front of us there or at least uh, that's the garage maybe where they keep their greens keeping stuff yeah, is this a driving range yeah, it looks kind of like a driving range, but I can't say for, for certain. I've never been out here. Yeah, and there's all the parking for the uh, for the clubhouse, and I see there's a bunch of carts there. So we're going to stay away so we're not flying over the top of any people there. But maybe we can uh, maybe we can go down a couple of these other holes here. Drop some altitude. I see some people on a the green there. We're going to stay out of their way. And picking up the camera a little bit. Let's, uh, let's just head down this fairway here and see what there is to see. And you golfers probably know this course better than I do. So what fairway this is, I can't tell you. But it's a neat development, a lot of houses right there. There's the green, doesn't look like there's anybody playing that green right now. So, yeah, there's the flag right there. Let's see, is there anybody? Let's make sure there's nobody hitting. I'm going to kind of spin around here and see if there's anybody uh, on the fairway. I don't think, I didn't see anybody, but never know we're gonna double check yeah I don't see anybody hitting down this fairway so let's just drop down a maybe we can drop down a little lower yeah I probably don't have the signal strength to get too much lower than that so discretion is the better part of valor but you know what we can do I can drop the camera down and we can zoom in on that uh, green right there maybe for some reason my zoom isn't working oh that's interesting oh there it is there it took off delayed reaction I have never seen that before that was really odd uh, so I was moving the scroll wheel and I'm getting a delayed reaction on the zoom that is strange don't know what that's about, but you know what? I'm going to, yeah, see there again. That is really odd. Yeah, now I'm in, whoops, I overdid it there. I was trying to get into the three by zoom, but I don't know if that has to do with control signal. But anyway, there's three by. Uh, anyway, just wanted to get you a picture of the, uh, of the green there. Looks like you got a sand trap right next to it. Let's, uh, let's pick up the camera. And uh, and let's uh, let's head back across. We can get across to that field. We got power lines there, so we want to be mindful of that. Let's grab some altitude and just head straight forward there. And uh, and we'll come back this way uh, over the field here. Let's go back to one by, so you can see the wide angle. And you can see I wasn't messing around. I, I got plenty of altitude over the top of those uh, 
uh, of those uh, uh, power lines. And let's just bring this guy back. Yeah, it looks like they're already doing some work in the field here. What is this building right here? I'll be darn. That looks like some kind of a garage for something. That, oh, 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 you know what? That looks, yeah, that looks like a feed. Uh, that could be part of a dairy. That's what that could be. I don't see any cattle in there, though. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Let's uh, let's just do a return to home from here, and let's check out the uh, uh, the augmented reality return to home. I'm going to do it on the controller. Maybe return to home. Thirty six percent battery, and let's see how high it decides it wants to go. And it's going right over the top of that. Uh, I, you know, looked like kind of a barn to me, really. And let's just see how this guy does. 31 meters high, and you can see that green line. I'll put it down in the corner. I'll put the screen recording down in the corner so you can see it. And we just, uh, we were flew over this just a few minutes ago. You know, it says we're uh, 33 meters high, which is, you know, roughly 100 feet or so. Uh, but it's weird. It looks to me, just looking at the FPV screen, it almost looks a little bit lower. But, uh, yeah. So you can see where the home point is, and it kind of straightened out that green line right over the top of the coffee shop. And over the top of the power lines here. And here it comes. Right over the top of me here, pretty close. And uh, it should drop the camera by itself. You can see that green line point down. Landing. And let's see how close it gets to that. Uh, in fact, I forgot to turn on the uh, Action 2 camera. Hopefully I got that on. Yeah, I got the Action 2 camera on. Look at that. It is, uh, it is really almost precisely on the spot that, we, uh, that it took off from. I mean, that's almost exact. <laughs> that's pretty darn cool. So, uh, so that's where it came down at. Uh, I wish you guys could have seen that landing on the camera. I wish that's my fault for not getting that on uh, fast enough. In any case, uh, let me get this guy shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay, uh, the DJI Mavic 3 Pro, or the three-eyed monster as I like to call it, uh, this thing is really fun. Uh, so, got to show you some different stuff there. We went out over Lakeview Golf Course and some of the empty farmer's field to the west of me here. I've never shown you that before, so I thought you'd find that interesting. Uh, and then we went up uh, Five Mile Creek here and, uh, and looked at Retta Husky Park. So, you know, it was just an excuse to fly, really. Uh, you know, as you can see, the sun is out right now and it's getting pretty darn low in the sky. Uh, but it was an excuse to, uh, to go fly. I had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed looking at some of the territory here. And, of course, the uh, Mavic 3 Pro, we made use of that uh, 3 by. We didn't get to the 7 by tele lens, but we did use the 3 by. Uh, it had, you know, one little kind of a weird issue where I had a delay on the uh, telephoto when I was out there on the golf course, but yeah, whatever that was. Uh, anyway, that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out, and if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I really appreciate you taking the time to look at this video, and yeah, we're going to see you on the next one. Bye now.